Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today we're going to be making two bandanas for puppies just in time for the holidays. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and just let's get started. I'm starting off with using this really old Santa's hat that I have for quite a long time and it's one of those felt Santa's hat. So what I'm going to start doing is removing the first the top part with my scissors and then I'm going to open the whole thing by just cutting to one side of it and once I have done that, open the whole thing I'm just going to cut the white bit of the bottom part and once I have done that, I'm just going to remove the kind of the messy part on the edges and I'm pretty much uh, just saving the white stuff that doesn't have anything on it. So for this red part, which is basically a triangle piece of fabric, I'm just going to cut it into, fold it into half, and then just cut it into two pieces so I have equal pieces out of that piece. And then once I have those two, I'm just going to do the same, but in miniature, fold them in half, and then just cutting the, the middle part. And then I found that this really old bandana, as you can see, it's quite old, but it's the size that I need. And this is kind of a, a pattern to me at this point. I'm just cutting exactly the same size as my old one. And since I'm doing two bandanas, because I have two doggies, I thought of adding two white pockets on the bandanas, but then I just ended up using one. But this is how I did my pockets. And then for the other like white piece that I had left, I removed the edge in there and then I folded it in half. I just cut that in half and then those two parts or two stripes, I just cut them in half. So I'm just basically going to have four stripes out of my white piece. And then it's time for me to put everything together. If you want to use a sewing machine, it's up to you. I'm just using my hot glue gun gluing the top part of my stripe and then going backwards flipping the thing upside down which is my triangle gluing the back part as well and I did that on the other side and on the other bandana as well and then I'm going to be gluing my little pocket but I'm actually going to be putting something inside so I'm just going to leave the top part without any glue. And here I'm just gluing in my other pocket, which I just cut a small piece of fabric. And here I'm just drawing some candy canes because those are the items that I was mentioning I was going to put on the pockets. And pretty much just drawing them, then cutting them. And then I'm just going to use my acrylic paint and my brush to make those lines. And I'm just going to be painting the four of them. Because I have four, two and two. And that's it for like the body of the bandana. I'm just going to accessorize and paint like the stuff that is going to be for my girl and my boy. And first I'm going to start with the girl one. And I'm just painting my holly berry, which is just three triangles at first. And then drawing those leaves with my green paint, acrylic paint that is and I'm basing myself out of an image that I searched online and then I just thought of adding some kind of effects around them but for my circles I'm just drawing this white line to make them look nice and shiny and just you know full of life <laughs> and then I'm just going to and then to finish her design, I'm just going to draw this kind of pattern on the top with my gold paint and my brush. And that's it for her bandana. And then for Santa's bandana, which is going to be for him, I'm just going to first, with my black paint and brush, I'm just going to start with belt, which is just a black line across my tiny pocket. And then I'm just going to draw the buckle which is pretty simple, just a, a gold rectangle and I chose gold but you can use any other color if you want to if you want to go a bit funky just paint it yellow 
make those lines as thick or as thin as you want them to be. And then once everything is dry, I'm just going to glue my candy canes, which are dry as well, with my hot glue gun. And you know, arrange them as you want them to be. I wanted them to kind of simulate that they were going like out of the pockets. And as you can see on the bottom of my bandana, I actually painted some red stripes as I did with my candy canes. And remember, you can customize the size according to your dog's size. If you have a bigger dog than I do, just take an old bandana and just use it as a pattern. So let me know which bandana you like the most and they look super cute together. They didn't really allow me to record them with their bandanas because they were moving so much and they're kind of afraid of the camera for some reason. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share this. I hope uh, you have a Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you later.